Okay guys, so this is just going to be like a few random little shoots that I did by myself. This isn't going to be your average video and it is going to be a bit shorter. Um, but yeah, so this is just two shoots I did near my house. One was completely alone, one was with my mother. And so here we go, shooting the deserts around my house part one. Hey guys, so I... I'm about to go out and be shooting and the sun is setting right now I think we've technically we've basically missed sunset at this point point. Um, and some of you are probably wondering well, why are you going out and shooting right now if sunset's over well that is because we are doing star trails and this is another experiment video just like long exposure shots were which this is a different type of long exposure shot so I'm going to take you along with me to that, and this should be very exciting. Hey guys, so um, my Nikon D700 does not do <laughs> star trails in the typical way, so I'd have to stitch images together, so we're gonna try that. Um, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I'm not very confident in it, but um, we're gonna try it. Also, we're gonna try some light painting, which should be fun, and I guess we're off. Hey guys, so we just made it onto location. Since we're doing star trails, it's really dark, so mom's got the light on me. And I hope you stay in focus. And I'm hoping I stay in focus. Forgive me if I don't. I'm not re-recording because we're just gonna kind of be out here. But if you want to follow me, hey mom, follow me over here. We're gonna show you what we're shooting. But uh, let's see here. Yeah, those mushrooms, that main mushroom, we're gonna be light painting that, which should be fun. And... All right, so my first image here I captured using my mom's camera actually because I just, I wasn't super confident in my ability to stack the images from my camera to create star trails. And I'm really happy with the composition. I managed to get some cool leading lines right up to this mushroom formation as I'm calling it. And I got this nice purpley orange contrast in the sky, which I think is really cool. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this image. It's, it's not bad for my first time doing star trails really. So, switching gears here, I went to Lone Tree, and I had actually been to this exact location before, but I wasn't super happy with how the images turned out the first time. There's this really awesome peak made of clay, so the way it erodes, there's a lot of dimension in this hill, and the clay hills below it created this really awesome ridge that just caught the light so perfectly. And it created and it created this really cool leading line to the to the peak. And so that's what I'm capturing here. And Lone Tree is only about a half an hour from my house. This is really close to a campground my family has. So this image, as you can see, like what I was saying earlier, this ledge light catches it so perfectly. And leads you right into my peak and the orange lighting I was getting was so cool it worked really well I got a lot of dimension on the hill with all the little details in the nooks and crannies that are created by the clay really really happy with it all right so the light on my ridge has died I'm getting kind of pink light on the mountain but I think my composition's a little bit dead without the ridge lighting up so I think I'm gonna call it the sky never kind of exploded with color which is a little bit unfortunate however the sky was still like textured it wasn't just flat blue so that's nice yeah so I think I'm gonna head for home okay guys I stopped recording and I stopped taking pictures but I felt like I'd be a super bad youtuber if I didn't show you this because then I started taking some more pictures after exploring so I found this spot, and I, I just had to turn the camera back on for you guys. Look at this, and it doesn't even do it justice, but you'll see the photos that I took back in there. It's so cool. All right, I am headed home and signing out. So I have not really shot Blue Hour much, but since I now have a full frame camera, my ISO can cooperate better in lower light so I was shooting some blue hour and I managed to catch this really awesome scene that's like between golden and blue hour it's not quite full on blue hour but it's still too dark for 
what my crop sensor would have been able to catch reasonably. And so I, I'm so happy with this image. Um, if the clouds are really nice leading lines. I've got a really nice subject. The light is just hitting this like kind of clay mound really well. The greens, of, the natural greens of the clay are coming out really, really, it's just so cool. The, these light wispy clouds are catching the light and the color just right. Um, I've got some green in the in the background from this this grassy and sagey area, which is really nice. I've got a ton of gorgeous texture that's not overpowering in the clay. Just everything about this image makes me happy. It's it's my favorite image of the night, and I found it super randomly, which makes me so happy. All right, guys, thanks for joining me on this quick little trip around home. I didn't go more than 40 minutes from my house for this, which is really awesome that I just am so blessed with this natural beauty around me. I'm real happy about that. Um, and if, as always, if you want to find more of my images, you can follow me at Troy Blue Earth on Instagram. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. That'd be really helpful. This is part one. I have every intention of making a part two. There's so much cool stuff around my house that I want to show you guys. And I mean, as long as I'm going to shoot videos around my house, there's going to be part three, part four, part five. So just stick around if you want to see some more of the cool natural beauty around my house. And I'm always down to go on other adventures I'm going to be exploring. I'm so excited to show you guys just all the random places I'm going to go. Thanks for sticking around to the end, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Catch you later.